All right, here we go. Here's the next one. A lot of sex ones this week. Want to bang friend's sister? Uh, dear Billy Fatigan. Um, first, I would like to say I'm a huge fan. Uh, the podcast influenced me, changing my life for the better. Great. He said, I'm getting over an ex following. Um, I don't know. He's trying to write in the Boston accent, and I can't even read that. Getting over an ex following my hat. And there we go. Um, <clears throat> I want to bang my friend's sister. He even writes this in here for me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, backstory. He's been one of my better friends for about eight years. And wasn't this amazing, the power of women? That He's been one of my better, better friends. He didn't say best friend. Oh, wow. For eight years. How old is this girl? She's 21. Ugh. Well, this is getting creepy. Let's do the math. So when he first started being friends with this guy, his sister was 13 years old. Dude, come on. That's fucking creepy. So at what point did you start looking at her like, hey, those titties are starting to come in there. Oh, Jesus. Ah, I'm going to have to shower after this one. But you know what? I understand. I understand what happens. Um for the better part of eight years. And we went to high school and college together, party, got in trouble and all that other guy stuff. And straight, he's going to put it right on the table. He goes, I want to bang her sister. I want to bang his sister. He goes, I have known her since she was young and I am now 25 and she's 21. Okay. So when she was 13, you were 17. All right. And she's now a 21 year old lady. Uh, oh, this is filthy, sir. This is filthy. Did she still have braces the first time you saw her? Anyways, smoking hot. She's developed like she was Welker in the Patriots offense. This guy is a creep. Oh, this guy is a creep. I love you. I love you to death, sir. He goes, I ended up getting her number from the one time we hung out with her brother and several others. So you're hanging out with his brother and on the side, you're subtly hitting on her. Dude, you don't need me. Listen. You're going to bang this girl. You're, the, the, the end of this email should be you just asking, should I do it or should I not? But as far as anything else, if you're getting the fucking number of one of your better friend's sister while he's two feet away, you know, waiting for his, maybe it's his chance to shoot pool, you know, you go shoot some stick and you can get the number during that time. You don't need my help in that department, obviously. All right. So anyways, the one time we hung out, okay, and with several others, and she used my phone to take pictures and texted herself the pictures. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. This is a layup right here. He goes, I have not contacted her since because I am not sure what to do. Should I bang my friend's sister? P.S. This friend has previously banged one of my other friend's sisters and has never told him. Uh-oh. The two wrongs make a right for me to bang my friend's sister. He wrote it in capital letters. Thanks and go fuck yourself. All right. Um, wow. There's a lot of, there's a little fucking twist there in the end. So you're going to use your fucking dick as some sort of karmic, like, balance in the sexual universe? Karmically, he does deserve this, but not by you. The fucking dude whose sister got banged, he should go and fucking bang his sister. And here's another thing, too. If this girl is as hot as you say she is, you are running the risk that she's just a fucking narcissistic, like, dick tease. And she's taking phones with your, cam with your cell phone camera just because that's just what she fucking does. This takes, oh, my God, look how hot I am. Ah, look at this angle. Look at me doing this. Ooh, I'm making the duck face, right? Um, oh, man. I don't know what to tell you here, sir. You could do the age-old rub one out. Rub one out, and then in the zen afterwards, think about it. If you still want to do it, then uh, I'd say check your shoot and fucking... <laughs> Jump out the back of the plane. Um, you know what, dude? This is on you. Because I don't, you said, you haven't said much about the guy 
you seem to have s- sort of like this is a guy that you've, you've hung with, but you don't seem to be saying that you guys have a real strong friendship. And he's kind of a dirtbag and bang one of your friends. You know what? Fucker. Do it. Do it. Every once in a while, I say go and do the dumb thing. You're young enough. By all means, wear a fucking condom. Uh, but it's just, just going to be so fucking sneaky. This is another thing, too. If all you want to do is bang her, if you have no feelings for it, you are, you are risking this fucking relationship. And is, you know what's going to be hilarious? Is when he comes running up to your house, and you know it's going to be raining out, because whenever you find out your friend fucked your sister and you have to go beat the shit out of him, it's always raining out. <laughs> God helps you out. So your, your buddy who fucked your sister also doesn't see the tears in your eyes because it's pouring down rating. And you bang on that screen door, right? Bang on that fucking thing. And he comes, you fuck my sister. Get out of the front lawn. And you guys roll around in the mud punching each other. Now, you got to understand that, like, what is your out going to be there? Yeah, well, you fuck so-and-so, sister. So it's even. Does he know that you know that he fucked the other person's sister? This is like an episode of Dallas. I say, you do, oh, let me know. Oh, this is the last question I have. That kid you've known for eight years, what is his martial art background? What if his, uh, when he gets into fights and bars, does he have a tendency to bite somebody's ear off? Is he a maniac? Can you beat this guy if he jumps you in your own driveway? You know? You know what? I don't know why. Because I usually give good advice. I'm telling you right now, this is a dumb thing to do, but I'm telling you to go out and go do it. Go out and go do it. Fuck him. He banged your father, buddy's sister. Go ahead. Make it all right with your dick. Make the world right again <laughs> with your dick. Please give me a follow-up email. I want to know how it goes down. All right? But this is the thing. You got to let her jump in the boat. All right? Make it be her fucking idea. This is the deal. The whole time you're doing, just be like, you know, I don't know about this, but blah, blah, blah. You know, I feel guilty because of yada, da, da, da. And just let it be. No, it's okay. And let her fucking dive bomb down on your dick and then you're all right. Right? I'm going to tell you, all of that advice came with a giant fucking asterisk. Beyond that, I'm a moron and I'm not a therapist. But I'm, I'm telling you to step into the quicksand. Because I think that you have the ability to make it to the other side. I believe in you, sir. Good luck, (laughs) and God bless.